I hate a liar though, like, why are you lying? <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, and I'm here with my first video. Finally, so before we get into this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. So today's video is going to be a Q and A, so y'all can get to know me, so y'all will know who y'all who y'all watching. First, we're gonna do the basic questions first. So my name is Jamia, not Jamia. Not Jamie. I get those two a lot. My name is Jamia. Um, what's another basic question? I am born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri. Not even St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis. I am born and raised in St. Louis. <laughs> um, my birthday is September 26th. I'm a Libra. The best sign out there. Yes, I'm a Libra. Um, what's another question? Uh, my favorite colors are black, purple, and yellow. Those are my top three. And yeah, those are some little, whatever little questions. Um, how many tattoos do I have? I have two tattoos. I have two thousand on my right ankle, and then I have two parts right here that me and my best friend got um, matching tattoos. I want some more, but. I just haven't came around to do it, but eventually I will. Mental check. Heavy on the mental checks. Make sure y'all checking up on y'all friends. Mental check, I would say about a, a eight. I always tell people if a person say seven, they lying. But I'm gonna say eight. My mental is it's 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 cool right now. It's it's that right now. I'm I'm cool. What's my favorite type of food? Soul food. I love soul food. You can't go wrong with soul food. It's like everything. It, it's just, it's fine. You can't go wrong with it. What's some random fact about me? Uh, Something y'all might not know. Um, well, of course y'all don't know. <laughs> but I cut my, I had locks. I had locks. Um, second grade? No, first grade until... First grade up until, when did I cut my hair? My sophomore year? Yes, my sophomore year of high school. And then I put them back in the summer going into my junior year. Had them until my what? It would have been like my junior year of college. I just cut my hair off, back off, when was that, December of 21? Yep, 21. So, yeah. Now I'm about <laughs> Now I'm about <bald> Um, <laughs> A scripture you live by, a scripture y'all live by is James 2 and 14. Um, work without faith is dead. I forgot where I saw that. Where I heard that at, but it was it's crazy because it was I heard it a little after I had started my business, and I'm thinking, of course, I was young when I started my business, so I'm thinking like, okay, if I pray but do very little work, everything is just come to me. That was my exact mindset. That's kind of how I thought. So. Once I heard that, it was like, girl, you got to have faith and you got to do the work. And yeah, so that's a scripture I live by. I actually want to put that right here in the little, um, the little LED light, James 2 14. That's a good scripture. I live by that. I love that scripture. Do I believe in second chances? Yes, depending on what you did to me. What made you start a business and how long have you had your business? So, quick little story time. It was the summer after we had graduated. <clears throat> Me and one of my closest friends, we was taking a nap. 
I woke up and something in me was like, you need some more money. So I'm like, okay. So I'm on YouTube. I'm looking up like side hustles for young girls, for teenagers and stuff like that. I came across Bougie Barbie. Excuse me. I came across Bougie Barbie. She was making lip gloss. So I'm like, I ain't never seen nobody making lip gloss and selling it. Like, that was little, I right hand up to God. That was my first ever time seeing somebody make lip gloss. Like, I didn't know people made lip gloss, but of course, once you get in the field, in that field, in that business, you you see it way more. So I'm like, I ain't never seen this. I'm in St. Louis. St. Louis is kind of St. Louis is kind of small. I'm like, I know this is gonna, this is gonna hit. So I'm I'm looking at all her videos, her tips and tricks. I'm I'm doing all of that. So my sister finally woke up. I'm like, I think I want to sell lip gloss. She was like, go ahead, sister. I think you could do it. She was like, you should do uh so no, actually, I was like, I think I want to do lash, I want to sell lashes and lip gloss. She was like, I think you could do it, you could do the heart pants too, because that was when the little bit that was with her pants and stuff like that was in. So I was like, I'm finna look on AliExpress. We finna get this cracking now. Like, I'm finna be on this stuff right now. So I ordered the stuff. That was in 2019. And of course, uh, my boyfriend had passed in March of 2019. So I'm like, I'm gonna dedicate this to him. He was Mr. Count it all. So that's how I came up with Pretty Counts. I'm pretty. He was the money. Counts, Pretty Counts. That's, that's how we came up with it. So yeah, I've been uh, in business. Going on four years now. Uh, nicknames and give an example. So my first nickname, me, my mama. And I'm going to give an example and basically how I got it. Me, my mama called me me. My brother called me me. Pearl, uh, my grandfather showed me and my two girl first cousins a chart. He was a therapist. He showed us a chart. And asked us if we could be like a stone or a jewel, which one would we be? I chose a pearl. So I was think I think I was like three or four when I did that. So that's another name that stuck. And um, JB. All my friends call me JB. So yeah, that's a new name. Three habits I would like to break this year. Procrastinating. That's number one. Um not seeing the full potential in myself because I'm full of it. Like, it's so crazy because everybody around me, like, girl, you are in a bag of chips. Then it be, it's myself. It's like, I be down myself. That's nothing I need to stop down myself. It's like, I be like, yeah, I got it, but I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's the, that's the three things. What do you do when you feel discouraged? Call my brother. I'm going to call my brother every time. Each and every time. It has never been a time. The sky could be falling. I'm going to call my brother. It. That's just how I feel. I'm going to call my sibling. I'm going to call my twin brother. That's just what it is. I'm going to call him every, each and every time. And he's going to answer. It, it never been a time where I have called him and he has not answered. Whether I just need to cry. Whether I just need to talk, whether I need him to come get me, whatever he gon' I'm gonna call, I don't care. I'm gonna call my brother. And of course, my mama, my mama be there a hundred percent, hundred a thousand percent. She be there. But I'm gonna call my brother. <laughs> like I don't care. I'm supposed to call my sibling. Like, like I said, I, I don't remember a time where I have called him or and needed him that he wasn't there. Like literally. He has always been our ten toes. I'm gonna call my brother, but when I feel discouraged, I'm gonna call him. But also I just I try to I tell everybody it's like pray yourself out of this stuff. Whatever it is, whatever you feel like discouraging you, pray yourself out of it. When it when it's just like life stuff, I'll be like, okay, pray pray yourself out of it. But when it's my big stuff, I'll be like, 
pray yourself out of it. Get your butt up. You know you know what you want to do. Like you know how what what type of life you want to live. You know what you like. So you can't just be sitting around there whatever bother you bother you, baby. <laughs> Like, get, I be telling myself, like, girl, get up. Like, you know you never want to work for nobody. You know you want nice stuff. Get your butt up. <laughs> so I be having to really tell myself that, like, I be having to remind myself, like, girl, get your ass up. <laughs> like, that's just what it is. Relationship status. <laughs> I'm in a relationship. <laughs> My man, my man, my man. Yeah, I'm in a relationship. Top three zodiac signs. I'm going to say, and not and not my own either. I'm not going to even say my what my own. I'm gonna say a Leo. My best friend is a Leo. We've been best friends since first grade. A Leo, a Cancer. Um, my boyfriend is a Cancer. My uncle is also a Cancer, and then my then my people <laughs> and the Capricorn. My mom is a Capricorn. Um uh, Capricorns, they just so nurturing and loving and I just I just it, it's like every Capricorn that I know, I just click with them. Like I never I don't think I ever had a problem with a Capricorn. Like they just so loving. Like I I love me a Capricorn. Why did I cut my hair? I don't know if you're talking about last time or this time but i'm just talking about this time i didn't feel cute with my locks no more like i really was i just didn't feel cute like i didn't feel pretty i didn't feel no matter how i dyed them no matter no matter how i styled it i didn't feel pretty with my hair no more like it was just like it was just on top of my head and i was it was just dark like whatever i didn't feel pretty with it so it was time for a cut and when I say when I cut it, it was like a weight lifted off my shoulder. Like literally and like mentally, like spirit, like everything. Like I just felt so much better without without having it. Like I just I just felt better. Why do you keep rebranding your pieces? <laughs> Somebody asked me this on Instagram. Because I feel like I should be able to rebrand and rebrand and rebrand till I get it how I want it. Like, it's not how I want it. Like, I'm looking at my stuff right now because I'm in my office. I'm looking at my stuff right now. It's not how I want it. So, best believe, this next drop, it's, it's a slight little rebrand. <laughs> like, it's not how I want it. And not even saying I can't be consistent with nothing because it was a time where my stuff was the same way for, you know, a little minute, but I just can't. Once I see what I could do, I, I tell myself like, you can do better, you can do better. So that's how I do. I'm gonna rebrand each and every time until I get exactly how I want it. Pet peeve, I hate a liar. And people be saying Libras be liars, no. We we be jokesing. Like we we might tell a little jokey joke. We be pranking. We be pranking. <laughs> What's your point of lying? What's the point? I don't understand. You don't lie. Especially a lot of me. You ain't got no reason about me. I don't care. Pick with me three celebrities. Who would it be? Boosie. Boosie off real. I love Boosie. If you know, you know. I love me some Boosie. That's that's um. Like, I love Boosie. <laughs> I love me some Boosie. Can't nobody tell me nothing about that man. Like, right or wrong. That's, that's um. Who else? Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, he just, I love how he just doing everything. This man got a collab with Skechers. Uh, uh, what's the lighter company? Big. Got a collab with them. It was a picture of this man painting. Painting with his shirt off. Uh, he got a collab with a brewer, a brewer company. I, like Snoop, just one thing I said about Snoop, he just, he's just doing it all. Like he, he, he older, but he living. Like he really living life. Like I was inspired to be like him one day. And who else? Um, 
a celebrity. I would want to meet somebody I can get knowledge from. Mm, I want to say little baby, but I feel like little baby want to sit and talk to me. But then again, you never know. If not little baby, if not little baby, I'm going to say. Who the celebrity I want to meet? I used to always say I want to meet like a uh, Steve Harvey. He always speaking knowledge like. You owe me some Steve Harvey. So I'm going to say him. It's between him and little Baby. Yeah. But yeah. um, That concludes this video. Thank y'all for watching. And I hope to see you all on the next video. Oh, and follow my Instagram at underscore dot. It's dot me. Not M-E-M-I. Um, follow my TikTok at the same thing, underscore dot, it's, excuse me, underscore dot, it's dot me. Yeah, TikTok and Instagram. Oh, follow my Pinterest at it's me 11. I be posting some little stuff on there. So yeah, I hope, to, like I said, I hope to see y'all on my next video because it's going to come really soon. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Bye. Thank uh you. -huh.